this is where we conduct our research. We are the Martini Research Group, founded by mechanical engineering professor Ashley Martini. She continues to lead our research group in the field of tribology. Now you may not hear the word tribology every day, but you can see tribology in action on a daily basis with cars, wind turbines, and in sports as a few examples. You'll see it best in applications with sliding, just like here, where if you zoom in with microphotography, you'll see the top steel plate sliding across oil. As you can see, the oil separates the two steel surfaces. This right here is tribology. It is the study of surfaces moving relative to one another. So when surfaces are rubbing together, we tribologists look at three things, friction, wear, and lubrication. Friction is the resistance to relative motion. Wear is the loss of material due to that motion, and lubrication is the use of a fluid, or in some cases a solid, to minimize friction and wear. Now the cool part is seeing tribology come alive through our research. Check this out. When your finger rubs against the surface, basically the sliding force of your finger acts against the friction from the surface. Now with our research, we can put numbers to that friction. Watch this. Instead of a finger, let's look at a steel ball rubbing against a steel plate. As the ball rubs across the surface, data is being collected. At every location, we are getting the coefficient of friction. For example, at one location, the friction coefficient is around 0.17. And at another location, it's 0.15. Altogether, the data shown tells us the average coefficient of friction is around 0.16 for the surface. You can think about what you've learned in class and apply it. How can we control friction? How can we control wear? Can we apply lubrication? Today, our research group helps answer these questions. So right now, we're looking at some interesting lubrication properties of a non-ferrous uh, bearing material. It's a new alloy of nickel and titanium, so it's uh, we call nitinol. There's not a lot of research been done into lubrication, though, because all of commercial lubricants have been designed to chemically react with the surface of steel. So we've been doing some fundamental research into different types of lubricants and additives that we can use to lubricate nickel titanium bearings, which are promising new bearing material for all sorts of applications of space and uh, terrestrial. So each sample that we create here has different additive combinations and these are meant to keep the oils stable throughout varying temperatures and in the long run. What we also do is make sure that these oils don't produce foam. Once it starts developing foam, then you have bubbles which pretty much exclude the oil and you have the materials rubbing against one another which produces wear and you lose energy due to friction. Everybody knows that Oil degrades, and one of the main degradation channels is oxidation, which creates varnish and sludge. And varnish and sludge is a problem across every industry, the transportation industry and the power generation industry. We put that artificially degraded oil on a steel coupon. We take this steel coupon and we expose it to differing chemicals and environmental conditions like temperature and flow rates to see that if we can remove the varnish. I work with lubricants, that's my sort of topic in tribology in that giant umbrella field. And with my computer science knowledge, I do simulations. And so I model base oils, essentially oils that formulate lubricants, and I model them and calculate the viscosity. Ultimately, if we can predict viscosity using computers, that would be really helpful for formulating new types of oils. As you can see, tribology is both technologically relevant and scientifically fascinating. One thing's for sure, it's an exciting time to be a part of this growing field of research.